Hi, boys and girls. I'm Nona, and I'm a naturalist with Dana Wharf Whale Watching. And while we're all staying safe inside, I want to take this time to teach you a little bit more about whales. Today's topic is blubber. Blubber is so important to all the whales, whether you're a toothed whale, like our orca, or if you're a baleen whale, like our gray whale. Blubber does three things for our whales. The first one is buoyancy. It helps them with their floating in the water. But the two real important things that, baleen, that blubber does, it insulates and it also provides a food source for these animals when they go through long periods of fasting. And what I mean by that is long periods of not eating. For instance, our gray whale spends four to five months in the summer feeding up in those cold Arctic waters above Alaska, in particular the Bering Sea and the Chukchi Sea. And then they leave and begin the longest migration of any mammal, over 6,000 miles all the way down to the warm, shallow lagoons in Mexico. There, they stay for about five to seven weeks and then they turn around and migrate all the way back up to the Arctic. Most scientists believe that during that whole time, they are fasting and they're living off the reserves of fat from feeding in the summer. You know, they say these whales eat around the clock 24 seven when they're up there in the Arctic waters and they can eat up to a thousand pounds a day, but by no means do they do that every day. So they're building up that blubber layer so that while they're traveling, they do not eat, but they live off of that fat that's stored in them. But the other main thing that the blubber does is insulate this animal. Now, whether the whale is up in the cold Arctic waters or it's down in the warm waters in Mexico, those waters are colder than their body. Now, what happens to you when you stay in the pool or the ocean too long? Don't you get out and your fingers are all wrinkled and cold and you're shivering and you run and you wrap up in your towel? Well, these whales can't do that. They must stay in the water all the time. So the blubber insulates their body so that their body temperature inside stays the same. They can maintain their body temperature because the blubber, which is right under the skin, is this thick envelope all around their body. Now on our gray whale, that thickness from the outside to the inside is anywhere from 12 to 18 centimeters all around their body and it keeps them warm. So today we're gonna try to pretend that we are a whale and we're inside our blubber. And to do that, we're gonna make a blubber bag. Now to make a blubber bag, you need to go get some lard. But the lard, you don't have to go to the store. If you can't find animal lard, I bet you can open your kitchen and you might have some Crisco in your cabinets. Then you're gonna to need to get two baggies. You're gonna take one baggie and turn it inside out. You're gonna take another baggie and you're gonna open it. Inside that baggie, you're gonna fill it with a big chunk of lard. So I'm gonna cut off a big chunk of lard. I'm gonna put it inside my bag. Put it all in there. You could put in a lot more than that if you want. Once you have the lard inside your bag, wipe your hand off. Take your other baggie that you turned inside out and push it right in there in between all that lard. And once you get it all the way in, the reason you turned your baggie inside out is because now you can snap it closed all the way around. Then once you snap it closed all the way around, I would take some duct tape and tape it again on the outside just to make sure the blubber stays inside. But now when I put my hand inside there, I'm not gonna get any blubber on me. It's between the baggies. So here's what you're gonna do with your family. Once you get your blubber bag made, you're gonna put your blubber bag hand in the ice water. You're gonna put your other hand in and you're gonna feel a tremendous difference. The insulated bag, no cold at all. The hand starts to freeze. 
what I want you to do is play a game with your family. Who can keep their hand in the ice water the longest? The hand that doesn't have the blubber. Mine can't take it any longer. It's already turning red. So boys and girls, that's today's lesson on blubber. Make a blubber bag at home. Thank you.